Hey, what is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are going over Bev Canna, ticker symbol BVNNF. Now in today's video, we will be covering a whole bunch of different things from their business model and their business plan. We'll take a look at their portfolio to get an idea of some partnerships and subsidiaries that they have. We'll take a look at some recent stories and some media that is really has great future implications for the future of them. And then we'll also take a look at the stock to get an idea of how the stock price moves and decide what we will be doing with this company. Now, even though today's video is a sponsored video you guys know that i only bring you all companies that i think have loads of potential and that is exactly what this company has so with that being said let's go ahead and let's see what beth canna is all about now beth canna is of course going to be a cannabis infused beverage company beth canna beverage cannabis cannabis beverages so as we can see here they are going to be within an industry within itself that is growing at dramatic rates i mean we've all been seeing all the diff diff uh, different legislation that's coming out we've been seeing all these different states legalize it different countries legalize it and it is really one of the most revolutionary moments in history whenever it comes to seeing such a massive legalization of a product or an item at that right so whenever we think about what this company will focus on they have three different services cultivation and technology manufacturing and brands we're going to go ahead we're going to first take a look at cultivation and technology we're going to look at some of the different statistics that they have whenever it comes to the company itself because it's actually quite interesting so this is going to be a vertically integrated company what that means is basically they are going to be in control for the majority of the steps from the moment their product is sourced to the moment it is delivered to your house they will focus on sourcing production packaging and logistics but first we have to break it down to the very beginning of course and that is sourcing now they have their own aquifer that is located in the bc interior of canada i think that's super duper important i think for companies like this one it's important to have as little restrictions and limitations as possible the fact that they are vertically integrated and the, the fact that they do have their own source definitely lets me know that there's going to be as little restrictions as possible whenever it comes to maybe another company owning the source that then they have to pay them and there's just a whole bunch of extra fees that are involved whereas this allows Beth Canna of course to have endless opportunity now the next part of that I think is absolutely phenomenal is going to be their facility they have a 40,000 square foot HACCP certified manufacturing facility with a current bottling capacity of up to 210 million bottles every single year so not only does this company have their own sourcing they have their own facility that can produce massive amounts of bottles at once and I think that as the years do go on, that will only expand as they do continue to grow it out. I think that it will be very beneficial that they have all of these things on their own. Now, not only that, they also boast a 292-acre outdoor cultivation site. The location is well known for its fertile soils and optimal growing conditions. The Okangan region holds 100-plus wineries and over 2,400 hectares of planted vineyards. So as we can see, the foundation is laid. There's cultivation, there's technology, which is service number one that this company provides they have all of these things laid already that they can now expand their portfolio on and i think that's important because for a company like this one in an industry that's growing having a strong foundation is going to be very very essential to seeing long-term growth so next up let's go ahead let's take a look at just how widely diversified their portfolio is and why they can appeal to so many customers now there is a lot going on with this company so i'm not going to go too far into depth about each and every one but i do want to highlight some of the most important aspects as this is a very very widely diversified company so as we can see here first and foremost they have a partnership with the u.s's number one cannabis beverage company keith brands it is a mutually advantageous for both of the companies with beth canna acting as the exclusive licensee manufacturing and distribution partner for keith brands in canada and leveraging the extensive keith u.s manufacturing and distribution network to access the u.s cannabis market so they are taking advantage of one of the biggest cannabis um, companies in the country and the fact that they have even become able to work with this company speaks for the quality in the products that they develop next up we will take a look at their wholly owned subsidiary being pure therapy pure therapy is a u.s based direct to consumer e-commerce company that sells a range of natural health products including including nutraceutical and hemp based cannabinoid products so as we can see there they're not only working working as a licensee for you know um, keith brands but they also have their own e-commerce business that i think is only going to grow from this point forward especially considering all of the recent legal, uh, legal 
legalization and legislation being passed about this industry. Now we will come back to the Naturo group in Trace as there is a little bit of extra information I do want to share about that. And let's go straight to their Bevcana Enterprises Inc. as we have kind of already talked about it. Well, of course, Bevcana owns and operates one of the highest capacity cannabinoid beverage processing and manufacturing facilities in Canada. Bevcana offers a variety of beverage product uh, formats, including PET, aluminum, and glass form factors available in multiple sizes and custom shapes. So each one of these different little aspects of their business all contribute into their own to create the very strong company that Bevcana is. And I think that with all that, the one we would talk about last year is by far, it has some of the most potential out of all of them. So they also work with Naturo Group Enterprises, Inc. Now, Naturo Group offers a full service CPG white label beverage manufacturing capabilities, in-house brands, and a white label clients. Naturo offers a variety of beverage products, formats, including PET, aluminum, and glass form factors available in multiple sizes and custom shapes. Now, Naturo Group's flagship brand, Trace, which currently enjoys a leadership position within the plant-based um, fulvic and humic mineral category, is sold in more than 3,000 Canadian stores. So as we can see here, let's break this down. So again, like we said, we have Keith, they're working as a licensee to distribute and manufacture some of their products within Canada. They also have Pure Therapy, which is going to act as one of their e-commerce facets, which will allow them a lot more recognition around the world. I think that will allow them to access a lot more consumers. They also, of course, have their facility, which is going to be producing and facilitating so many different products within one year. And then they can work as a white labeling company, which will allow them to brand and help brand develop many other brands throughout many different areas. So they have so much going on with their company. There's so much within their business model. And it's very important, I think, going forward that with this market growing, with the cannabis beverage market growing so fast that they do take advantage of each one of these different routes because all of them are just growing at rapid rates. Now, the reason that I said that the Naturo Group you know, agreement was going to lead them to have some of the most potential out of all the other aspects of their business is because of some news that we got earlier today. Well, it says here that they will now be working with Mariah Marketing Inc. Mariah will assist Beth Canna with their entry into the new markets, providing connections to established companies with robust distribution networks. Mariah has a significant knowledge and relationships in the wellness products market and has facilitated over a hundred million dollars in transactions with some of the Asia's largest trading companies and retail chains. The well-known distributor will leverage this extensive rap experience to rapidly scale the Trace brand throughout the territories. The initial term of the agreement will be two years, with exclusivity subject to a minimum net revenue of a million dollars over the course of the term and incentives to reach over five million dollars during the term as well. So I think that that's important. You know, having the Turo's group sign these exact these exclusive distribution agreements will only allow them to, you know, just come up with even more revenue to continue to grow out their company. And that is just one small part of their business model. That is one of just four. And the fact that they have so many different things going for them speaks for the volume that they will be able to produce that and the amount of profit that in revenue that they may be able to generate, especially as this industry does grow. Now, while we are talking about how fast the industry is growing, we have to note the fact that the cannabis beverages market is supposed to expand at a 17.8% compounded annual growth rate through 2025. So not only do they have all of this, let's kind of recap. Not only do they have a facility, 40,000 square feet. Not only do they have their own source, not only do they have 292 acres up in Canada, not only are they vertically integrated and control basically every single step of the way of all of their operations. Not only are they working with some of the biggest brands in this industry and being Keith Brands, and not only are they expanding themselves out by working with companies like Mirai, who has facilitated over hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, they're within an industry that is growing at a little bit under 20% compounded annual growth rate. That is why I said this company has so much potential. Whenever we consider the fact that they are starting to work their way into the Asian markets through this agreement with Mirai, let's go take a look at the global nutraceutical market in itself and see that Asia Pacific accounted for the major market share of 31% in 2019. So not only are they focusing on an industry that's growing, not only are they you know growing themselves out, but they're focusing in an industry within an area that has the majority of the market share. Do you hear the cha-chings? Do you hear all of this potential revenue? All the 
of this potential profit because this company has so many different aspects of their business that are growing in one that are creating an amazing, amazing company. And I'm so excited for the future of them and the potential in which they have because they have done such a fantastic job of diversifying out their company and taking advantage of so many advantageous opportunities that are being presented by the market and society itself. And I truly do believe that they are going to have some amazing, amazing results in the future. So let's go ahead. We're going to pull up the stock price. Let's get an idea of how they've been moving and we can kind of see what this stock has been doing. So as we can see here, it has it has had that kind of typical penny stock trend over the last year and a half. 2019 not being the absolute best, but from 2020 to about, to the, about the same time in 2021, we did see them grow at about 130%. So they did have a pretty good rebound towards the end of last year. Now we have seen many penny stocks kind of taking a hit recently as many people have been deleveraging as we have been seeing a lot of people getting out of these higher volatility lower market cap stocks and so it hasn't been much of a surprise to see their stock price lowering but the thing about that is though is that as it is my expectation personally that all of these stocks and all of the penny stocks especially the ones on the otc market that have the true fundamentals the ones that can move and the ones that actually are represented by a great foundation are going to be the otc and the penny stocks that actually recover and then the other penny stocks that don't have those fundamentals that moved off of hype or that moved off of just pure excitement will likely be the ones to continue to drop now considering the fact that this company has so much potential they have so much potential revenue they have so many things going for them especially with the facility that they're operating right now with all of that being said i truly believe that this is going to allow this company to see real growth especially as revenue is reported as they do start to let investors know about all of the things they are doing financially i think that will allow this company to see a lot of stock growth and i truly wouldn't be surprised to see if at some point maybe in the next year or two that we recover maybe these 52 week highs and we can truly see some long-term growth from this company now personally at the moment i don't have a position into them but i do want to capitalize on this cannabis industry it is one that i've been growing positions in rapidly and don't be surprised at all if you soon in a portfolio update you see bev canna introduced to my stock portfolio so that being said that is about it on bev canna tick, ticker symbol bv again this company i know they have so much information about them and i hope i presented it in a timely manner but i wanted to make sure you guys really could see the true potential that this company has again this is a sponsored video but that doesn't take away from anything that i said as all of it is true facts and they are a very amazing company and i hope you guys did enjoy with that being said i do post on this channel two to three times every single day and i can't wait to see you all next time peace